Ooh, 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 it's a strong one. Oh! Let's catch some snakeheads. Dragonfly. Look at that. Is that not good luck? I don't know. You guys let me know. You guys let me know. Is that good luck? Because this thing just literally just landed right on my, my rod. And now he's on my hat. Ooh, I'm on. Oh, it pushed into that. Damn, that current's strong, strong. Well, the luck didn't start yet. Welcome back to another episode of CEO Fishing. Today, we are chasing snakeheads. I got a couple bait casters here. I've got a zoom frog with a vector hook from the real hooker bait and tackle. And I've got a white swim bait. I am exploring new areas. I've never been up here before, at least not fishing. And I found these little canal systems that seem to be holding fish. So guys, stay tuned. It's a fun episode. This episode of CEO Fishing is brought to you by The Real Hooker Bait and Tackle, Nines Optics, and Livingston Lures. And if you would like to advertise with me on CEO Fishing on YouTube and my other various platforms, shoot me a DM on Instagram at Brian the CEO. With this heat advisory, day one was a tough day of fishing, but let's see how it went. Oh, tarpon, 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 tarpon. Right there. Come on. Here comes the rain. Nice. Carlos got him. That's the big boy? Here, let me come over there. Let's go over here. Nice peacock, Carlos. See, I told you. Let's see that thing. Nice fish. Now I need to catch something. Okay, so spot number one, Carlos got tight on a very nice peacock bass. I'd say it was about four, four and a half pounds. That's pretty damn good. But that's all we saw there. I did see a couple of tarpon roll, uh, maybe 10, 15 pounders. Sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't. We're on to the next location. We're deep in the heart of the Redlands and uh, kind of trying to hit some spots that I've never really fished before. So wish us luck. Drop a comment, good luck, and uh, I'm gonna heart your comment. That's crazy. I knew it was a tarpon too. I tried to record and I, I didn't hit record. Looks like a good spot right over there. Oh. Something there. Oh, come on. Missed me. Oh! Oh, it's another tarpon. Mm. You all heard me say this looks good over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Oh my gosh, that's the second one I've jumped. I didn't not and I never got the hook. A chance to get the hook in on that one though. Ooh, got, him. got him, you got him. Nice. Carlos with the tarpon on. With the tarpon on, baby. Oh, oh he spit it right oh, in your face. No. Right in your face. No. No. Oh man. No. You almost had your first tarpon again. Day one was tough because I did not land one fish. I went probably to 15 different locations. So that dragonfly, it wasn't good luck. I did find a dead ladybug in my truck, so maybe that was actually bad luck. I decided to go out the next day to go for some snakeheads and explore some new areas. And boy, did I hook into a giant. As you see, I went by the real hooker bait and tackle in Miami to get some zoom frogs. And uh, I'm testing out some new areas. I've never been over here before. And we're gonna see if there's some fish. So guys, stay tuned, it's gonna be fun. Make sure you hit subscribe and turn your notification bell on right now if you like fishing and the outdoors. And uh, let's get to it. I'm just gonna walk the bank, cast up the bank, and if there's a fish, there's a fish. If not, I'm gonna keep on moving. Snakehead's looking right at me. 
I gotta try and cast it there without moving too much so he doesn't see me, but he's looking right at me. I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera because I'm zoomed out. But I'm going to... Drop that right there. Got, got, got that fucker. Got that fucker. Ooh, 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 it's a strong one. That is a strong fish. Oh man, that's a strong fish. That is all wrapped up in this vegetation. Come on. Oh man. Oh, come on. It broke my whole line. Oh, well, just saw the snakehead. It's still got my frog in his mouth. <sighs> but it doesn't seem to want to eat another one. So I don't know how that happened. It went through the grass somehow. Maybe there was a rock or something in the vegetation because there was a clean cut on my braid. Like I've never seen a snakehead that big before and it was it was thick. It, was, it wasn't just like one of those little ones I've been catching. I'm a little disappointed in that. I did walk back and saw it there. It still has my frog in its mouth. So if someone wants to go try and catch that snakehead and get my frog back for me, Shoot me a DM on Instagram and I'll uh, I'll give you the GPS coordinates um, if I don't go back there myself to see if he's still in the area. Guys, I see a snakehead right over there. So let me see if I can uh, sneak up on it. Put that down. And ooh, it's got cool colors too. It's got really cool colors. I don't know if you guys can see it over there. Let's see if I can, uh, it's a big one, it's a big one. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, he just shot off, he chased another little fish off. Oh, there's another one, there's another one. And he shot off too, shit. I got stuck on the grass. Gosh darn it. What? Oh. What was that? can't move there is literally another snakehead looking right at me to my right I'm gonna turn a little bit but he is watching me I'm gonna reel this up I'm gonna snap this I'm gonna swing it that way dang it was literally sitting right there looking at me too so I'm seeing him I've hooked up once, but that thing took me through the grass and the vegetation and ultimately my line got cut. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, that's something. All right, we got one on the board. It actually hit the, uh, ooh, it actually hit the uh, swim bait, the white swim bait. I think I got a little faster action on it. That might be the reason. Oh, I see another snakehead. I see another one. I see another one. Another one. Ah. Another one, baby. Another one, baby. Yeah. These are savage motherfuckers right through the eyeball too. Well, I missed a giant, but still two snakeheads in the books. Ooh, don't want to go in the tree. Sorry. That was bad. That's it guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. I finally landed some fish, I got some snakeheads. We've been having a heat advisory after heat advisory every week and 
it was brutal. I had a jug of water. I went through that whole thing. Uh, I was getting dehydrated, so I figured, you know what? Let me head home before I pass out and before the traffic gets too bad. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel with your notification bell on.